Kelsey came into my analytics for social good class this past spring and we gave them an assignment called telling a story with maps. And we wanted the students to think about data in a more visual way. Like I said, a lot of times they think about tables, they think about charts, but we wanted them to visually tell a story. And so we opened up the assignment. The students could think about anything that they wanted to show and then think about how telling that story with maps gave you a different perspective on this, on what was going on and maybe underlying causes and thinking about correlation, causation, and starting to see connections between two very different data sets that you might not think about putting together and then you put those data sets together geographically and you see things differently. I think GIS was really significant and powerful um, throughout the courses for all of us. And then I can definitely see its emerging impact on many other like statistics courses in getting students to think about how spatial analysis and geographical data can be a very useful tool in like uh, making decisions and analytics projects. I actually had uh, no prior knowledge of GIS or any sort of uh, mapping technology. Um, I think that like many students, uh, my kind of impression of data analysis was a regression in a paper. And I think uh, data analytics and data visualization is um, definitely something that's coming more to the forefront and GIS is part of that.